So now that we have our circuit elements, our resistor, inductor, and capacitor, let's look at how we connect them and see what the constraints are. The first law that we're going to look at is KCL or Kirchhoff's current law. And it says here that for each node with attached elements, the incoming currents is equal to the outgoing currents. So this is our formula. The summation of the incoming currents is equal to the summation of outgoing currents. So this is sort of like a con conservation of charge in which no charges can be accumulated uh, throughout the circuit. Kirchhoff voltage law is like a conservation of energy and it says for each loop current we write an equation for the voltages as the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the sum of the voltage rises in the direction of the current. So for each loop we have an equation as the summation of the voltage drops equals the sum of the voltage rise. Now that we're going to take a look at some examples So in summary, our connection to constraint says for each node in a circuit, we have the sum of the currents equals the sum of the currents going out of each node. That's KVL, or Kirchhoff Current Law. And then uh, for Kirchhoff Voltage Law, we have the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the sum of the voltage rise. So let's look at an example of circuit analysis. We'll start off with this simple circuit. We have a voltage Vs, and that's uh, the long line represents a positive polarity, and the shorter right line by convention represents the negative polarity. So this is plus and minus. So going from minus and plus means there's a voltage rise. Here we have a resistor connected and another resistor connected and these are connected in series because there's a current common element among all these three elements so we will call this resistor R and a resistor R so these two resistors are equal and once we set a current direction it defines our voltage polarity right here and here so if I set this current direction here then I must label it from plus to minus here so going from plus to minus is a voltage drop. Going from plus to minus is a voltage drop. Going from minus to plus is a voltage rise. So sum of the voltage rise is equal to the sum of the voltage drops. So using KVL, we have Vs is equal to, in this case, the voltage rise in the form of Vs is equal to the voltage drop which is the voltage across the first resistor here and the other resistor there or 2 VIR the voltage drops okay uh, we'll see that these voltages are equal now applying KCL at this node A we see that the incoming current we'll call I1 in this direction and we'll call this current I2. So our incoming current to node A is I1 which is equal by KCL. The incoming current is equal to the outgoing currents at a node. So here we have node A the income current again is I1 and the outgoing currents we'll call I2. However using our Ohm's element uh, Ohm's law, our element for this device is a resistor, so VR is equal to I. 1R and the voltage of the other resistor is I2R. But we note that these voltages are equal. I1 is equal to I2, which implies that this VR is equal for both of these resistors. So if they're connected in series, then the current is the same throughout all of them. So we'll apply some numbers now. Let's say this is 10 volts. The resistor is 10 ohms and this resistor is 10 ohms. So we expect, should expect that the voltages be split between these two resistors. So here we have I1 is equal to I2 which we'll just call in general I. So Vs is equal to VR which is equal to 2I times
times r. All right? But r is equal to 10, so 2r is 20i for vs, and vs is equal to uh, 10 volts. Okay, so therefore I is equal to 0 0.5 amps. And therefore the voltage across the resistor using Ohm's law IR, which we found is 0 0.5 amps, and the resistor is given as 10 ohms, which is equal to 5 volts. So 5 volts is shown here for both these resistors. So VR is equal to 5 volts here and VR is 5 volts here and you can see that these voltages have been split by the voltage supplied which is 10 volts. Again when we have a sign of direction going from here to or from left to right for this resistor then the positive polarity is on the left and the negative polarity is on the right by convention. Now if our answer is negative we just say that it's opposite in terms of our direction and our polarities. So here's a simulation of a circuit diagram. We're going to start off with a simple battery. I'm going to drag and drop here. And do the circuit similar to what we just did earlier analytically. Okay, we'll connect wire from here to here. Then we'll put another resistor. another piece of wire and so we have a connection. Now we'll take a look at what the values are. We see it's 10 ohms, 10 ohms and we had in our answer 10 volts so what we'll put here is 10 volts so we'll change that value change the voltage value to 10 okay and we'll use a voltmeter found here click on that put our voltage takes two points to measure voltage so that's what we're doing right now and we can see that it's half of the voltage 10 volts 5 volts here and 5 volts across this resistor right here and here so now that we have 5 volts supplied by 10 volts now if I double my voltage let me uh, do that Okay, so if I ch double my voltage, I should see double my answer, and then it's just half. So right here, we'll put 20. That's done, and we see it's half of that. 10 volts across this resistor, and 10 volts across this resistor.